So a lot of exciting things have happened in the last week at the NIF on the National Ignition Campaign. Uh, the first one is we went from two wavelengths or two colors driving our targets to three. We call this the three lambda configuration, lambda being the wavelength or the color of the light. The reason we did this is we wanted to see if we could get further fine control of the symmetry of the implosion uh, inside the whole ROM or inside the oven versus outside. It looked like it worked very well. Some interesting physics came uh, about that we're going to be decipher over the coming week. We think this is going to be another arrow in our quiver in the months ahead. The next thing that happened was on Halloween night, on Sunday 1031, uh, just after the World Series game, actually quite a bit after the World Series game, but early in the morning, we did what is called an exploding pusher shot. In this case, we use sort of a polar drive, which in which we have a little glass ball, and all the lasers come in, and it's filled with deuterium and tritium. The fancy word is equimolar, 50-50 to first order. And we push it in, and we get a big burst of neutrons out. Now, we don't do this to study the physics of the target itself. But what we do is use this to, dis to calibrate our neutron diagnostics. Two things happen. This was the highest yield shot ever for a laser-driven implosion. And, uh, and also, all the diagnostics are now timed up and ready for our implosion campaign. So that was also very exciting. So this week coming has a lot of other interesting experiments going. We're going to be looking at uh, symmetrical drives and heading back to another uh, frozen deuterium tritium hydrogen shot in the very near term. I'll tell you how that goes in the next few days.